What, what up, up y'all? I'm Mike. I'm Kate. And we are The, the Potential, Potential and we are back. And I'm the only young girl who popping at <laughs> But yeah, for me. But yeah. Why well, sound ghetto? But you are ghetto. But yeah. No, this is on it. <laughs> but we're back. Vlogging. 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 First vlog. Our first. For <laughs> first. <laughs> You see me? And it just so happens to be Thanksgiving. Eve. I can't see you. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I told my family, my mom, my brother, and my dad that I'm gonna take over this year. Mm. You know, my mom, she ties, she don't wanna do it no more. She didn't did it for so many odd years. So mm -hmm. it's time for me to step up. So, <laughs> so we about to vlog it for y'all. We got to show y'all how New Orleanians, New Orleans, and how the potential, the potential, get down. Hashtag potential Thank giving down in the comments below. Who on it with me? <laughs> so we just basically going to be vlogging everything that we pretty much do and what our Thanksgiving Eve normally consists of. Drinking, music, eating, cooking, so <laughs> sometimes. So, see y'all later. So right now we're basically getting the small stuff out of the way. Yeah. Kate is um baking her. Well, it's really not baking. Yeah, making. Kate is making her famous. I wonder if y'all can hear us. Kate is making her famous strawberry cheesecake. It's not that famous because it's in a box. But even though it's in a box. It's still the best strawberry cheesecake I've ever had personally in my life. It's all about... What's it all about? It's all about making it like you like you want to make it, you know? Right. It's all about putting love into it. Love? And, yeah, and putting your all into it. Don't make it sloppy, make it neat. Mm -hmm. Do it right, make sure you spread it out. Uh -huh. All over it, even. Mm -hmm. Make sure you mix it right so it's thick. Right. So you put the strawberry and make sure you put the cool whip on it. We're gonna show y'all the um the step by step of most of the things that we're making for Thanksgiving. Um don't know if it's gonna be a million videos or one big video, not sure, but whatever it is, it's gonna be lit. So you ever did be lit? Hey. You can't tell me. Hey. Remember I was broke? Now I'm getting lit. As y'all saw on Instagram and Twitter, we definitely went grocery shopping. Purchase pretty much everything. Oh, that's just to snack on while we do it. But yeah, everything. I mean, Maya wanted our Hawaiian bread. Shout out to Maya. And then, of course, we need the crab meat. Of course, a slow cooker. Slow cooker bags. We're going to show y'all what we're cooking in a slow cooker. You mix the stuffing inside of certain things to create other things. Lime juice, y'all. It's 21 and over. Y'all don't know nothing about that. We got some crust. Ooh, pineapple juice. Oh, that's 21 and over, too. Ooh, crumb sauce. So this is basically what we're dealing with. And all of the meats and stuff are in the freezer and refrigerator. See y'all later. Y'all, I'm doing it on the stove because I'm... Everything is occupied. Every space There's occupied. no more counter space. But I just mixed up the um the mix with some milk. I read the instructions. Can I lick that spoon? And you see how fluffy it is? Is that like the cake stuff that we lick off the spoon? No, this is cheesecake. Can I still lick it? Yeah, it's filling. Um, so <laughs> the it's fluffy because it's about how much you beat in there with setting. So you have to beat it at a pretty high. Oh, it setting. has to be fluffy. Right, because some people they put in there like liquidy. Mm -hmm. It's not a good cheesecake. Mm, looks squat. So I'm just getting all of it. Yes, I'm using a plastic small and guess why? Why? Because I've always did. And I like <laughs> to do what I like to do when I want to do it. Mm. And my name is Case, so mm. you won't stop me. Mm. Not true. So yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, like I told y'all, you make sure this is like so easy. I feel ghetto explaining it, but it still tastes amazing when you do it. You 
just make sure you spread it evenly all on the side and the strawberry filling is coming next I got the spoon, y'all. I found a spoon now. Mm. Mm. Y'all, we go up. Mm. So I'm putting the strawberry stuff on there next. On the box, it's gonna tell you put do the uh, filling and put it in the refrigerator. But to save time, ain't nobody got time for that. Mm. It, it's all gonna be cold. <laughs> so what the hell? I think they just say that because after you put the strawberry stuff on it, you really can serve it. But I like my strawberry um filling to be cold too. So, you know. Ugh. So yeah, y'all. Just pretty even. It's just like the filling. No arm in the way. Really? What's in the way now? It's pretty. And yeah, this is strawberry, not cherry. I do not like cherry cheesecake. I don't either. Who eats cherry I cheesecake? No, I just don't like cherries that much to like cherry cheesecake. In the first place. Like, I like regular, cher like real cherries. But as far as other cherries, I really don't like that. Looks amazing. Or raspberry cheesecake. I like strawberry. That's my favorite. So, I make sure I get it all around, y'all. Everybody gonna have a strawberry today. <laughs> cool whip, cool whip. This is what people forget. They leave their stuff like this, and they might put a dollop, a dupe dupe a dollop of daisy. But well, what they put? A dupe dupe a dollop of daisy. <laughs> but I'm gonna put the whole thing on them. Oh, you do that all the time? I put most of it on them. That's what makes it. What it is, and look, some a lot of the time, Let me I, get my. I get light Cool Whip. Not that it's gonna be any less bad than when you put a whole thing on there, but still, it might be, you know. And y'all don't understand, like this is the best and easiest dessert to make, like after a real good meal, like a real heavy meal. Yes. This is the best Cause dessert. It's, it's, sweet, it's sweet, but it's thick. It's, it's thick. It's thick, and, and it's it's it's, it's just flavorful, right? And it just has like you have the crust, so that's the hard, yes. you know, kind of graham cracker and, and stuff. Cookie, and then you have right. the um filling, which is like that nice smooth texture, and then lastly you have the um Cool Whip, which is like that kind of airy, but it's like thick. I don't know. Right. It just all comes together. It's amazing. And I don't eat. Um, pumpkin like Mike does and sweet potato. Oh, I love pumpkin. I don't like that. I just I never did like sweet potato, yams, or pumpkin. So this is my dessert that I always fix because it's what I like. So this is the finished product. I'm making two, but I ain't gonna show y'all two. But yeah, got the Cool Whip, the strawberry, and the the filling and the crust. And yeah, that is Kayla's famous quick strawberry cheesecake. Holla at me. It was good. And I'm editing videos. All right, y'all. We'll be back. Okay, everybody. So we are back and we are at the point. See, we, we eat snacks while we cook. No, I'm hungry and I haven't ate all day. That's what that is. We eat snacks while we cook. So right now, Case is preparing the seafood dressing. Now, we, I just discovered today that dressing and stuffing wasn't the same stuff. So, some of y'all may be used to um, eating stuffing or dressing, but this is going to be dressing with seafood in it. What's the seafood stuff that are in it? Crab meat and, um, shrimp. and shrimp. Some people put oysters in there. We're not going to do that this year. It's chicken, crab meat, and shrimp. Chicken, that's not seafood. Yeah, but they, they we put it in there. I chicken know. Chicken and gizzard seafood. Okay. Okay, so um, what is what is um this? What's the brand? So this is Martha White. Martha White cornbread. Self rising caramel mix. Caramel mix. And I'm preparing it to go into the oven because you have to make your cornbread first. Okay, so 
You put your cornbread in the oven. It's milk, cornbread, eggs. That's it. And oil. Oil. Vegetable oil. And then once you put it in the oven, you have to take it out and crumble it up to pieces. Right. Too much milk? A little bit. One, one half. And I'm tripling the recipe. So. Why are you tripling you follow the, the recipe? The, you follow the instructions on the back for the easy southern cornbread. But you triple the recipe because you have to make a certain amount of cornbread. If you're trying to feed people. Okay, you guys. So this is the cornbread that Case just stirred. And it's in a buttered pan. You get your, your pans from the Dollar Tree. They'll be a dollar. Right, Mom? One day, y'all, we was at the Dollar Tree. And my mama did not know that everything was a dollar. That's what you didn't, you didn't know. All right, y'all. We didn't move on to something new. Y'all see that? So I'm doing the bell peppers. I'm just going to cut them. You cut them in half, try to make them as even as you can. So you can get enough meat and stuffing in it. Not stuffing, but you know what you stuff the stuff with. And what is this? Ain't, oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is that? It's your little, little juice. A anyway, little juice. Um, so I'm going to cut them. And I'm pulling all of this. You see this? All of this stuff out the middle. You can show it to the camera. Don't worry about the seeds because I'm going to put them in this bowl. Yeah. And I'm going to wash them out. Yeah. And uh, so after I do that, I'm going to put them in one of those foil pans like I did the seafood dressing. Or the cornbread, cornbread. for right now. And um, I'm going to put them in the oven. And don't I put water in it? Put water in it, right? The peppers. All of the peppers and hot right. Oh, so I don't put them in. The, I don't put them in the oven first. Delete all that. <laughs> I'm gonna boil my peppers. And you're just gonna get them tender. And I'm just gonna get them tender and enough. That stick a not in. too, not too soft because then they still have to go in the oven and stuff like that. You don't want your peppers to be soft. Kayla, you are so pretty. I mean, you don't even be trying. Guess what? I went to the nail shop today. And they said you just. This older lady just was like, pretty girl, real pretty, beautiful. <laughs> I was like, thank you. But, yeah, I'm not big headed, you know. But, um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. So, yeah, bell peppers will be in full effect on Thanksgiving. Okay, people, we're getting close to victory. Okay, so this is the cornbread that Case cooked earlier she baked it in an oven at 450 degrees the brand is Martha White cornbread um self-rising cornmeal once it's done and you take it out of the oven you want to make sure it's while it's still hot you put three big dollops of butter on it because we want that real that buttery taste okay so right now I'm cutting up one of my bell peppers that, you know, I was making the real bell peppers with, I used a half of one just to put in my seafood dressing. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I'm going to put some of it in my gumbo because I already have a little bit of pepper cut up for my gumbo. And next I'll be pulling the chicken that's in here that my mom bought for me last night. She put pepper, um, season all. Tony said your season. And she chicken just let it chicken, chicken and chicken thighs. And she put water up to, you know, the top. And she basically let it boil for about what? Three? Uh, oh. I went to have two hours. I went to have two hours. Yeah, I went to have to two hours. And um, I'm going to be pulling that for the dressing. And I have rotisserie chicken for the gumbo. But, so this is just going to be for the dressing. It's gonna go on it all sounds very tasty. People will get back to you when we're on the next step. What? Okay, Potential Posse. So right now, Case is picking the meat for the dressing. Mm -hmm. For the dressing. And she's going to go over the meat that she is using that inside of the dressing. You, it's not for gumbo either? No, I'm going to okay. the rotisserie chicken for gumbo. Okay, so she's about to break down the different meats that she's using because it's a bunch of meats. Okay, here we go. Oh, hey, y'all. I have... 
a whole chicken in here. Ooh, it looks yummy. I have two packs of chicken thighs. I have one pack of chicken necks and one pack of gizzards, chicken gizzards. Mm. So, so this is going in the dressing only. In the dressing only. She's digging it out of the water that she boiled. How long Not did you boil? Water. Oh, oh broth. broth. How long did you boil it in the broth for? About an hour and a half to two hours. And anybody wondering um, who's going um, yelling in the back randomly, that is Mama Potential. Yes. Yeah, we learn everything from her. She's making sure we say everything. Okay, so you boil it in the broth, and how long do you boil it in the broth for a mom potential? Hour and a half to two hours. Hour and a half to two hours. You're going to have to speak up now. <laughs> so, yeah, this is tiresome when you cook and dress in this part. Casey, you want to say hey? Say hello. I'm tired. <laughs> I just finished um, picking all this chicken. Mm -hmm. And I. The cornbread was in here, my, you guys. My cornbread. And, and now it's in here. So now I'm about to go start on the seasoning, which is onion, bell pepper, and celery. They're already cut up. Do it the night before, trust me. Because once you pick this chicken, you're going to be done. Now, you can make your own, you can buy the seasoning out the store. Yeah, but, but it's, it's not better, as fresh. It's better to cut your it own seasoning taste as fresh. fresh. Right. And, um, so yeah, so I'm about to go saute that up real nice right now. And it will be big. Okay, people, I was going to make me another drink, but desperate times calls for desperate measures. That's not the right thing. Um, anywho. So, now we are um, see seasoning down on the seasoning. Sauteing. That's chicken broth, y'all. That's, that's the juice from the chicken. You save it. For real? What are we doing? What is it called? Celery. No, what are we doing to it? Sauteing. We're sauteing the seasoning. Gotcha. Okay, so we're sauteing the seasoning, you guys. This is the seasoning that's going to go on the seafood dressing. So the celery has been pre-cut. Also, pre -cut. bell peppers, too. Oh, and in the bell peppers. So the celery has been pre-cut. And then there's also a big um, container of onions as well. These are peppers from earlier. bell peppers. Things are starting to come together. I don't know what this is, y'all. That was from the... um. Chicken broth. They have a few. Mm. You know, I'm looking around, y'all. I, I don't recognize nothing. That's, That's the, the bell peppers. You yeah. don't let them get too soft. You want them to be solid. And then that's your, um celery. Celery. Keep like, your chicken broth. Keep your, your chicken, chicken broth from when you boil your chicken. Now you can also use um, onion right here. You can also use, oh that's the onion. You can also use store bought store bought bar. bar. <laughs> you can also use store brought broth, but it's better to use. We like to be fresh around here, so we use everything like from we make real chicken broth. Like we if, keep the if real chicken broth. If you're gonna broth. make chicken, if you're gonna boil your chicken, you might as well use that broth. If you don't right. boil chicken, then you gotta make your own. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you can save, um, you can mix the chicken broth. So, is that correct, Mom? Excuse me? If I'm not um, mistaken, you can mix a uh, real chicken broth with regular chicken normally broth? I do. Okay, so normally my mom mixes the chicken broth. Um, the, the one that she makes from the chicken and then the store broth. When I start tasting it, it's not, you know, whatever. I get the chicken broth. This is the store broth chicken broth. Store bought. You keep Store saying brought. Brought. No brought. bought. <laughs> what is it? You bought it from the store, not brought it from the store. It's store brought. Brought. No. <laughs> bought. Brought. Store. Bought. Bought. Brought. 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 <laughs> Y'all, she hit me. Oh, you make my nerves bad. 